Coming up next, Salesian News Asia Pacific. Hello folks, glad to have you join us for the 87th episode of Salesian News Asia Pacific. I'm your host RJ Bryan of Radio Salesia 90.8 FM, the voice of the hills, the first community radio of Don Bosco Asia since 2016. The show is brought to you by Bible Diary 2022 from Don Bosco Publishing Hyderabad and Church Art Kolkata. 40 Salesian Family Spirituality Days to go online. Thousands from 32 groups expected to participate in the four-day event. East Asia Oceania Social Communications Coordinator Father Ambrose Pereira reports. Encouraged by last year's online Salesian Family Spirituality Days, which had over 8,000 participants. This year, the 40th edition is expected to reach some 20,000 Salesian family members in the digital space with the help of many technicians and translators. The four-day event is scheduled from 13th to 16 January 2022. The global Salesian family with 32 different groups will study Strenna 2022. Do all through love, nothing through constraint. Marking 400th death anniversary of our patron St. Francis de Sales. At world level, some 3,000 registered Salesian family members and more unregistered members will join live streaming available in 12 languages, five world languages, Italian, Spanish, English, French, and Portuguese on the ANS Facebook, and seven East Asian languages, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Mongolian, Tetum, Thai, and Vietnamese on the SF EAO respective YouTube channels. The whole 12 hour online program in four days and six sessions will be available on the YouTube in eight languages of the Asia Pacific region even after 16 January 2022. Author of monumental work on Don Bosco dies, Father Mike Mendel reports. Father Arthur Lenti, author of the monumental seven volume work, Don Bosco History and Spirit, died on 6 January 2022. He was 98. His first major work is Don Bosco, His Pope and His Bishop published in 2006. Since 1984, he was the lead instructor at the Institute of Salesian Studies in Berkeley, California, an affiliate of the Dominican School of Philosophy and Theology and member school of the Graduate Theological Union in Berkeley. On his 95th birthday in 2018, Father Marcelo Escalante Mendoza released a book entitled Arthur Lenti, Memory, Presence, and Hope. The book deals with biographical and vocational aspects, as well as Father Lenti's perspectives on Salesian mission and formation. Father Lenti was born in northern Italy on 31 January 1923, and went to the USA at the age of 16 and joined the Salesians there in 1939. He was ordained priest on 2 July 1950. Don Bosco Publishing House Hyderabad presents Word With Us, Bible Diary 2022. Available in both popular and royal editions. Besides scripture readings for daily Eucharist, the diary contains liturgical information, insights from saint of the day, short and relevant reflections, prayers of the faithful for Sundays and solemnities, ideal Christmas gifts for family and friends, 
order from sales at the rate dbpublishinghouse.com or WhatsApp country code 91, mobile number 9390257614. Don Bosco Green Alliance launches Green Campus Campaign 2022. Executive Secretary Lian De Souza reports from Mumbai. Don Bosco Green Alliance Global launched Making Our Campus Green Campaign on 11 January 2022. By incorporating sustainable practices in the daily operations, Salesian institutions can raise awareness and become role models in mitigating the global crisis. To get started, member institutions are encouraged to work on any two of the following nine green campus areas during the course of 2022. They are zero litter, waste management, energy efficiency, water conservation, sustainable travel, lowering plastic usage, healthy food, enriched biodiversity, green procurement. To make the program known and garner support from all stakeholders, it is encouraged to formally launch the Green Campus Plan on 31st January, the feast day of Don Bosco. Don Bosco Green Alliance is an international green Salesian movement. Launched in 2018, the Alliance is today an active platform where Salesian family institutions, organizations and individuals exchange ideas and work together on global environmental campaigns. Mongolia, past pupil falls in love with calligraphy and Don Bosco. Salesian volunteer from Scotland, Miss Picotzi Madeleine reports from Ulaanbaatar. Salesians in Mongolia sponsored the university studies of Mungan Baller, a former student. Majoring in Mongolian linguistics and Mongolian traditional scripts, she graduated from university in 2017. Right after her graduation, she organised an exhibition of traditional Mongolian script after three months of restless work on the words of Don Bosco in Article 14 of the Salesian Constitutions for you I study, for you I work and also on some quotes from St Paul's letters. In August 2021, she took part in another exhibition organised by the Mongolian government in which a team of 80 teachers wrote out the secret history of the Mongols in traditional script. It was written in three forms, a scroll 60 metres long, the most spectacular exhibit, a wall-sized panel 3.2 by 4 metres and a 50-page book. Mungenboller contributed a chapter of the history of Mongolia with some info on Chinggis Khan and with the words of Don Bosco, again, for you I study, for you I work, for you I live, and for you I am ready to give my life. Church Art Kolkata has a series of popular murals illustrating life and activities of Jesus Christ and saints. The 36 inches by 40 inches murals feature major life events and miracles of Jesus like healing paralytic, raising the dead and curing the blind. Other popular murals include Jesus blessing children and mothers bringing children to Jesus. Larger versions of these murals are also available. These murals are ideal for churches, educational institutions, hospitals and social work establishments. For affordable prices and hassle-free professional service, contact Don Bosco Pass Pupil by email churchart.ganguly at the rate gmail.com and WhatsApp slash Telegram country code 919831020945. Kerala College students build house of love for homeless. Father Bastian Nelliseri reports from Angadi Kadav. The National Service Scheme volunteers of Don Bosco College, Angadi Kadav, Kerala, built and handed over Snehavid 
the house of love to the most deserving family in the neighborhood on 8th January 2022. The recipient of the house is a mother with two young children. It all started with Lucy George, a Salishian cooperator who on a bus journey heard the sobbing of Jesse with two children, the co-passengers who had no home. On the mention of the plight of Jesse, students of Don Bosco College with staff and management took up the challenge to construct the house. The plot of land was donated by a couple through the instrumentality of Carmelite father, Rapson Peter. Built in 600 square feet area, the house has two bedrooms, kitchen, work area and sit out. The house cost rupees 8 lakhs, approximately 11,000 US dollars, and took the volunteers 10 months to complete the project. It is the fourth house constructed by the National Service Scheme volunteers of the college in subsequent years. You are listening to Salesian News on Radio Salesian from Salesian College, Sonada Darjeeling. Assam First Museum for Missing Tribe Inaugurated Assistant Director of ICAD Father Santos Mundu reports from Jorhat. During the 11th Ethnic Annual Cultural Tourism Festival organized by Institution for Culture and Rural Development, ICAD, Mr. Ashok Kumar Barman, the Deputy Commissioner of Jorhat, Assam, inaugurated the first missing tribal museum at Laiplas Bakchum, Jorhat on 8th January 2022. It is said that three things are necessary for the fuller development of any community. First, a library. Second, live cultural performances. And third, a museum. ICARD already had the first two for a pretty long time. To fulfill the third aspect, we had been collecting artifacts for more than 15 years. Today, thanks to a grant from Missione Don Bosco Turin, we have the museum. The new museum contains some rare collections like an nanure used for carving the corners while making a boat. Even as artifacts collection continues, iCard staff and friends make new artifacts like musical instruments that are not available anymore. The present ethnic festival is made possible by the participation of over 250 school dropouts, unemployed youth and members of Young Missings Association. Empowering youth scattered in 2,000 missing villages of Assam and 50 villages of Arunachal Pradesh is the main concern and activity of ICARD. Music score sheet for Salesian feasts in January and beyond. Brother Ban Hun Lang Lingdo reports from Siliguri, India. There are six Salation liturgical celebrations in the month of January. Beginning with Blessed Titus Zimmon on 8th January, followed by Blessed Alusius Barriera on 15th January, and Blessed Laura Vicuña on 22nd January. 24th January marks 400th death anniversary of St. Francis de Sales. 30th January is Blessed Bronislaw Machiawigs and on 31st January, St. John Bosco. Music for the Salation proper officers are available on Salation Digital Library at sdl.sdb.org. The melodies and occasionally harmonies are all the work of a Salation as he prefers to call himself, preferring to remain that way and not detract in any way from giving glory to God through his musical ability. The contributing solution hopes that it will encourage others, be it in English or any other language, who have written solution music to share their efforts by sending it to Australasia Bosco Link for inclusion. Those are the latest from Salesian News, Asia Pacific. This show was brought to you by Bible Diary 2022 from Don Bosco Publishing, Hyderabad and Church Art, Kolkata. Enjoy the rest of your day.